We're so excited for today's episode of what's new with uh, Creative Cloud Express. So welcome. My name is Tani Averith, and I'm super excited to be joined by uh, my amazing colleague, Emily Chesbro. Welcome, Emily. Hey, everybody. I'm Emily Chesbro. I'm glad to be back. Um, for those of you that haven't met me yet, I lead K-12 product marketing here at Adobe for Education. And I'm so excited to be talking with Tanya today about some really exciting uh, new features and experiences in our latest launch with Creative Cloud Express for Education. I'm so excited about today because today we get to bring in uh, one of our amazing community members and I'm going to bring him in in just a moment. Um, so actually, hold on. Let's just let's just get him in. Hello! Hey! <laughs> so, welcome, Neil. Um, so, so excited to have you here. I met Neil a few weeks ago while I was doing a professional development at Fulton County. Mm -hmm. And Neil was just like, smiles, enjoy. And I was like, oh my God, I love you. And he's doing <laughs> amazing work with his class. So, Neil, tell us a little bit about you and where, you know, what you teach. I, I want to learn, I want everyone to learn a little bit more about what you're doing. Oh, perfect. So I'm Neil Cole. Um, I'm in Folsom County, um, Georgia. Teach fifth grade math, science, social studies. And um, I've been using Adobe Spark for a long time um, with the kids um, for all different subjects. But I've been really working with kids of just um, kind of transforming their ideas um, into graphic organizers, right? So they'll talk about a lesson and then I want them to use the product um, to kind of just be creative on their learning, right? Read their learning. So I've done things from um, creating movie posters with the kids and reading, um, creating um, menus for uh, math activities, um, creating newspaper articles with kids. But I just feel like using um, Adobe Spark just gave them um, a little more um, energy in their work and gave them the ability to be expressive for the creativity. And they love it. So I kind of stuck with it, right? So. <laughs> To hear that i love it i love it and i've seen some of the work that your kids have done on twitter so it was like Thank really you. exciting to meet you and then to learn more about the fact that you were actually doing a lot more mm -hmm. with uh, adobe spark now creative cloud express which is yes. why you're here because we thought it would be really exciting to hear from you learn a little bit about some of your questions uh, i would imagine your questions are probably very similar to a lot of people who are watching or other teachers who are wondering about you know what's going on Right. And I'm so excited just to even learn um, the newness. I know I've heard of different features on there, so I'm excited to learn about it um, and see what I can take back to my classroom and teach my kids. So thank you guys for inviting me. <laughs> thank you for coming. Yeah, thank <laughs> you for joining us. Um, well, we're we're super excited. Before we get into all the questions and getting into the product and showing you guys what's new, we wanted to kind of give you guys an overview in case you hadn't heard the news about what is different between Adobe Spark for Education and the new Creative Cloud Express for Education. So we have a quick video. Um, so Tanya, I think you're gonna roll that Take one. Take it away, let's do it. <laughs> Adobe Spark for Education is now Adobe Creative Cloud Express for Education. So what does this mean for you? Before, you had access to three Adobe Spark apps that let you create stunning graphics, web pages, and videos. New Adobe Creative Cloud Express for Education includes the same Spark tools, plus Adobe Photoshop Express and Adobe Premiere Rush. Creative Cloud Express for Education offers greater privacy protections and safe image search. Students can access a built-in collection of Adobe stock images curated for K through 12. The new offering works with the technology you use in the classroom every day. If your district or classroom uses Adobe Spark today, you'll be automatically upgraded to Creative Cloud Express for Education. You'll use the same passwords and any work you've completed in Spark will be saved to your new Creative Cloud Express account. You'll get new remixable templates that make it a snap to customize creative projects. You can explore a new curriculum from Khan Academy and Adobe, plus hundreds more on the Adobe Education Exchange. And you can join the Adobe Creative Educator community to get ideas and inspiration. Want to start using Creative Cloud Express today? Visit our website to learn more. Yay! 
<laughs> so we're really excited for the new launch. And I, I think the, the video calls out some important things about mm -hmm. what changed with, you know, going from Spark to Creative Cloud Express. But before we get into it, I think just at a bigger picture level, like some of the educators have asked me kind of what motivated the change. And I think for Adobe, this is really a step in a new direction and kind of a new journey for us where we want to have an ecosystem of tools that are designed with every creator in mind, including creative beginners who really are starting from maybe they're kindergartners and they're just getting started in school, or maybe they're, you know, everyday people like you and me, and maybe we're not creative pros and we want to go ahead and get started. It's right. really a tool suite for them. So it's it's exciting to have an opportunity to share this with everyone. Great. Oh man, I love that. <laughs> the kids love it. <laughs> so what are some of the questions, Neil, that you have? Like, or some that maybe you feel like your students are gonna be wondering about? So I know my students are like crazy just about the different templates that are there. Uh -huh. um, but I wanna know how are the templates now more education specific? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually open it up. I'm gonna share my screen. All right, so here we are. And Emily, do you want to kind of walk through it? Totally. Yeah. So I think there's a couple of things, Neil. Um, first and foremost, if you've logged into Spark before, you might see that there are some changes on this home screen, and maybe you noticed it on launch day if you guys logged in. Um, but one of the things that changed is we really brought the templates, especially templates for the classroom, to the forefront and made I it so that. much easier to find them. I think that was one piece of feedback we'd gotten in the past was, yeah, I love your templates, but it's a little hard to find the education. Right. <laughs> Not anymore, folks. There, It's right there. You can get to it really quickly. Um, and we're also adding new education templates. And I think that's what's really exciting. We added some new templates for launch, and you'll see them in the product now. But we're also going to be adding new education templates throughout the next year and really kind of bolstering that so that you have a wide array of things to choose from across subjects and grades, whether you're in K-12 or higher ed, we'll have a template for you. Wow. Yeah, that cool. lashes. Book, oh, book covers. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Brochures. Yeah, there's so many different things here. And I just started going in here and just kind of, you know, filtering by topics, which is really fun. Mm -hmm. And Neil, I know you mentioned you've done projects before with your class using the old Adobe Spark. Yes. Now with Creative Cloud Express, I mean, one fun thing we could do with you if you're up for it is we could maybe try redoing a project like that you had done in the past with Spark, but this time using the new tools. Do you want to oh, give it a shot? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> So what's a project that you've done in the past that you want to kind of try again with the new features in Creative Cloud Express? So I know for math, um, you know, we have a unit where we teach kids just how to um, use decimals, right? So how to line up decimals, how to, um, you know, make a menu, because um, all kids have been to a restaurant, right? Mm -hmm. um, but um, it's all about adding and subtracting, finding the money that you owe. Um, so they had a great time just kind of creating their, their makeshift restaurant. So we had open up a storefront, but the requirement was that each of them had to have um, some entrees, some um, desserts, but they had to make sure that they would line the decimals correctly and just, you know, make a very colorful, um, vibrant um, menu to share with other students so they can practice um, that skill with everyone in the class. So I love that. Mm -hmm. That's so much fun. Yeah. That's so cool. So kind of a, a math menu, if you will. Yes, so this is yes. an exciting one. So we may want to check out um, one of the cool things about our templates, and people people don't know this. Sometimes they think they have to stick to the template. Think mm -hmm. of the template as like the starting point for your journey. It doesn't have to be the end point. So we can look for things like if you type in math, we may be able to start seeing some of these kind of various projects that you can do using some of the math templates. Ooh, um, 133 <laughs> templates. I like the way that they're broken down here. And then you can even see by category, which is nice yeah, too. Totally. So I'll, I'll turn this back over to you, Neil. Like we can kind of scroll through. Are there ones that kind of speak to you that might be a good starting place for like a math menu? Oh, let's see. I'm always into things that have lots of color in it. <laughs> so I kind of I'm looking at that math club menu there. They got yeah. the different. This chases. one right here. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. That's really colorful. All right, so let's mm -hmm. go. So it's a great place to start. Easy peasy. Cool. Awesome. 
Awesome. So one of the things that remains the same between old Spark and new Creative Cloud Express is editing text. You can still definitely do that. Um, so I don't know, Neil, where do, what do you normally recommend people start with with their map menu? Always get, you need a good title of your restaurant, right? We gotta know where they're shopping at or <laughs> buying food at. So let's think of a really good restaurant. So maybe like, um, I don't know, Cole's Diner. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Like, that is awesome. Diner. Mm -hmm. I like that. Okay. This is a good place to start. So Cole's, did I spell it right? It's the apostrophe S. I always mess this up. You got it. Okay. <laughs> Should we do like Fulton? Yeah. Martin? There we go. <laughs> Fulton. County. There we go. Uh -huh. All right. Cole's Diner. <laughs> like this. Okay. I love it. So we can move things around. So let's get, how do, how would we place this? So um, all those are placed fine. Uh, we would probably just like have to have an entree and then um, whatever the entree we have, it could be, you know, I don't know. I like steak. <laughs> um, so we get a couple of entrees and after that, we have to think of a, a good price um, for our steak that we have a the cold banner. So, so steak, thinking, salmon, and chicken. How about yeah, that? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All yeah. right, I would, I would, I mean, I would definitely um, not under live make it a little fancier, of course. <laughs> but I'm gonna just duplicate my layer right here, just so that I can align the the inside the size it the size and the alignment. So when I put my uh, prices, they're right there. So yes. what would my what 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 um, oh, you know, steak is expensive, so we got to go over maybe like $24.99 <laughs> for that steak. You know, the salmon might be you know, maybe just under it, maybe like mm, $22, maybe 99 And the yeah. chicken is probably like a, a good, a good, oh, a good chicken, maybe Parmesan chicken, right? Maybe like $15. And You're so right. <laughs> This seems just about right. Oh, yeah. See, I like that. <laughs> okay, perfect. So we got some of our money here. We got mm -hmm. our, I love it. And so far, easy peasy, right? This one yeah. is overly complicated mm -hmm. and a lot of fun to kind of explore. I mean, if you wanted to and go a little crazy and no one really needs to see their food, if you're kind of there, you should be bought in. But if <laughs> I wanted to get, let's see what would happen. Let me see what happens when I put steak in there. Oh yeah. yeah. All right. Oh. So uh, I would probably want it. Uh, I probably wouldn't want it raw on the picture, but maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe there we raw. go. Yeah. yeah. But here it is. But here's what I want to do. I'm going to actually remove the background, which is a feature that was there before, but now is even easier um, to do. And I could even go in and kind of like move a lot more of it. So I can do that, make it super easy. You know, I'm, I'm not going in as much as I could. I could zoom in more, but I'm not. So I'm going to do it a little quick. I'm going to just do that. And so I could, oh wait, this isn't going to look so pretty because I kind of missed it. <laughs> I can always undo it. But let's say I did that. I could go here and I can add some elements in there, mm -hmm. make it my little a little collage of my diner if I wanted to. I don't think I would put it in there, but I just want to show you if I wanted to, I could add some of the, the food there as well. So I love that. Oh, man, I got a question. Yeah. So I love how you remove that background. So are a lot of the features are more simplified um, in this now? Yeah, that's a really good yeah. question. That's a great Ooh. question, Cole. So, uh, Neil, <laughs> Mrs. Wolf, Neil, <laughs> sir. Um, that is one of the things that's really great about this launch is we have these new options for you called quick actions. And they're Ooh. right there on your home screen. You probably saw them if you logged in earlier. And when you go in and look, we have different options for you to do things that a lot of people want to do quickly, but normally would take a lot of steps. And these quick actions, like they say, are quick and basically take it from many, many steps from normally having to go in and like edit a background and remove it to in just a few clicks, you oh, remove wow. the background on an image, um, which is what you saw Tanya do earlier. She basically just like clicked that remove background. She fixed some of those edges. And she was done in like a minute, you know, and that yeah. used to take a long time. Um, so we're really excited about that feature. Ooh, look, there's me. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, 
if you want to show us another example of like how this removed background ends up working. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so there, so there you are. This is what I showed on the on our last episode, but you're here, so I'm gonna do it again. So I just grabbed your photo. I've removed your awesome classroom, which looked really good, by the way. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go customize. And so this is great because I can just add what I need, where what I want, an alternative background. So tell me something, um, Neil. Where would you like to visit? <laughs> oh, man, I would love to go to Italy. My favorite food is Italian food. Oh, so. okay. You are my person. Okay, so okay. <laughs> let's see what happens when I pop in Italy. All right. Woof, there's a yeah. lot. Uh, oh, my God. And these, like, I don't know if you've seen this, Neil, but mm -hmm. the photos, they were nice before. They're even nicer now which is oh, really yeah. exciting. Um, they're pulling from Adobe stock, which is like really, really beautiful imagery. And so now your students have access to stock images that Ooh. usually like you would, you know, you would be paying like a subscription for. And so now that's included. So watch, I'm going to add that to the background. Oh my You're God. in Italy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. Me too. I love your face in Italy. This is so cute. So this looks like you are like um like gonna make some wine soon. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> since you like Italian food, you know what? I'm just gonna add a pizza in there. But there I go. I always say this like this is so, so fun for students. Like, are there any like book studies that you're reading right now, or like uh, are you doing any kind of like are you studying about any times or periods in history? Oh, yeah. So we did um, the Spanish-American War at one point in time. Mm -hmm. So, like, I love the idea of having students, like, think, create, like, create it, like, mm -hmm. think creatively about um, mm -hmm. what they're learning and, and then being able to express their learning creatively, mm -hmm. right? And so it would be really cool for them to be able to, like, think about the different elements that were part of like that time and create a visual representation of it. So I think that that's like really fun. And now that you can create these collages, it's really cool to see what they would come up, like the different elements that are connected to what they're learning about. And what's cool then is that you could bring it into video and then have them explain it afterwards or pull it into a page and then have them create like like a written component where they're explaining mm -hmm. their thinking so i love these like really fun ways of kind of combining ideas for students to be able to demonstrate their learning yeah, so yes <laughs> i love it oh. so i have you eating pizza in, in <laughs> <laughs> So let's see, what else is, um, what else is on your mind? What are some other things that maybe you're wondering about? Oh, okay. So is it still accessible? So like when kids do their projects, it's easy for them to save and everything's still housed in kind of one place. Um, I'm glad you asked that, Neil. So <laughs> some things change and some things remain the same. And that is one thing that's remained the same is you can okay, definitely yeah. still save your projects and manage them. Um, okay. So much in the same way you did before, you're also able to download and share your projects um, mm -hmm. similar to the way that you could before. So if your students wanted to like download an image and maybe share it with you personally in that format, mm -hmm. or maybe you want them to share to Google Classroom, those are now options that are still available in Creative Cloud Express. They have not gone away. Cool. Yeah, and they'll find everything still like in their projects area. They can still create folders. They can still share folders with you. Um, and with each other. And so that's all still here. Good. Well. Yeah, we got that question during launch is, you know, oh my gosh, did, you know, can I still access my old projects? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. Your projects are still there. Um, and you probably have noticed this by now if you've logged in already, but um, don't worry, you, all of your projects are still in your account. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> also, all of your, yeah, and yours, like all of the URLs that were. Mm -hmm will just transfer over. So oh, okay. uh, you should be able to have your students' uh, projects still available. They should have them all saved. So that nothing will be affected in that way. Awesome. Oh, man. I can't wait to start creating. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait. <laughs> I have to come and visit you at your school. I was, I was just in Fulton a few weeks ago. And so I'll have to come next time and see if I can visit you and your students if they'd have me at your school. Of course. Everybody's welcome. 
Come on, Emily, you too. <laughs> yeah, I want to go too. I, uh, man, you know, I've been, it's been a while since I've been to Atlanta and, you know, the mm. Georgia area, you know, with everything going on, but I would love to get back there. It's a beautiful place. Oh. Well, Neil, um, are there any other questions or anything else that we can show you? Because um, I want to make sure that we get all your questions out before we leave today. Um, I think so. If I was going to, um, let's say, share a project, mm -hmm. um, can you maybe walk me through those steps really quick? Just like if my kids do a project and decide to share it with other yeah. teachers or collaborate. Absolutely. Definitely... All right. So mm -hmm. let me walk you through. I'm going to open back you. And, <laughs> and so let's say I wanted to um, have someone else work on this project. Yeah. I could invite someone else to the project and um, they'd be able to open it up and work on it as well. So that is still available. And like, you know, you can also grab that link. And I know you work on Teams. So you yeah. could also share that link on Teams and share that with your students. I could download it still. And then, of course, it's similar to before. Uh, and it's the same with video and, and web pages mm -hmm. as well. So I could still publish it. And um, I can uh, share it in different places. One of the things that's really neat that a lot of people don't realize you could do, Neil, is mm -hmm. this. And that is I can actually make a template, which is okay. really awesome. So yeah. Cool. And so... <laughs> If you wanted like to start with a project idea and then ha and see where students could take it. So let's say you were like, you're going to replace with your photo, you're going to replace with where you want, or maybe where you, you know, where you would like to visit, or maybe it could be like, you know, if you're learning about like somewhere, uh, something in history, like maybe they're going to add the different components. Mm -hmm. So you can start with a foundation, but you could create a uh, Neil's dream this is your vacation, but, <laughs> and then you could say like, you know, imagine, you know, add your little comments there, then you can create your library here. So mm -hmm. library. I love that. Yeah. And then I can say that as a template. And so where will that end up? Well, I'm going to show you. So if I go into libraries, I have lots of libraries because I do this way too much <laughs> and so here's neil's library i'm going to open it up okay it's just going to take a second all right i i did it faster than it had a chance there it is there Ooh, it is okay. all right so i can even add assets so like you could add little design assets or images or photos in here and then you could share this with your class oh, so and they can access it oh, yeah. oh. So, right i can say okay i'm going to invite some of my students or I could, again, I could grab the link and share the link with my students and they would just open the link and they'd have access to all of the templates and all of the assets that I want them to create with. So this is a great way to get them like started on a project if you wanted to. And it's really straightforward to do that. So yeah, I, a lot of people don't realize that, but this is such a great um, little feature that is available here. I love it. Yeah. Um, another question I have, I, I was looking at the video, the intro video, mm -hmm. and I saw that um, the, I saw images of uh, like Canva and ClassLink, and I guess I'm, I just want to know, um, you know, how are those partnerships, how are they um, working with the new Creative Cloud Express? Yeah, Canvas and Class uh, ClassLink, Clever, some of those. Yeah, so yeah, we have yeah. integrations with um, you know, people call them single sign-on providers, like yeah. last link, like the district portals kind of thing. Like you, mm -hmm. if you have them, you probably know you do because you're probably logging into it and probably says like clever yeah. last link on there. Um, we integrate with those platforms so you can use those as a way to log in. Um, your yeah. IT admin can help you get those set up. We also integrate with learning management systems like Canvas and Blackboard. Um, and it just makes it a little easier when you're, you know, trying to submit assignments and getting that work done. Also integrate with Google Classroom. So that's just part of making life a little easier for all yes. of you because we know you're using a lot of tools every day and we want to make it as seamless as we can. And Teams as well. And I know that Fulton is on Teams. So that's, you can also. And Teams as well. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. And so the nice thing is like, I know that at Fulton you have ClassLink. And so yes. you go into your portal, you can just access um, Creative Cloud Express straight from there. So it makes it a lot easier. 
Oh, these are great. These are great questions. And I think that these are the kinds of questions that people are probably wondering, like, how do I still access it? How do I share it? How do I share it with my students? So I'm so happy that you came today and that you uh, shared some of your thoughts, your questions, your excitement. We absolutely adore you. So we're so happy to have you here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Now I have to get that template from you later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to share it with you. I'll send it over to you. That's perfect. Well, Emily, is there anything else that you wanted to close up with for, for this uh, for this episode? You know, I think that about does it. For our next episode, folks, we're going to be diving deeper into some of the other apps that are coming in Creative Cloud Express for Education. Because believe it or not, you also have access now to Rush and Photoshop Express. So if you want to learn more about those apps, join us next time. Um, and in the meantime, if you want to learn more or you want to get started, go ahead and check us out at the link below. And I think Tanya can flash this up, but um, exactly. I'll this help out. Is, yeah, exactly. The bottom bar, go check it out, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Am I a professional YouTuber now? Is that how that works? <laughs> yeah, you are. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. And there's tons of information. If there was anything that we that went too fast and you want to check further, this is where you can go and find out more. So thank you, Mr. Cole, <laughs> for joining us. I I, I just like adore you, adore your energy. You have some lucky students because I could just imagine mm -hmm. how much fun you have with them uh, just from your positive energy. So mm -hmm. thank you mm -hmm. and happy holidays. I hope that you're uh, having a really relaxing and a meaningful holiday thank season. Um, and Emily, thank you for joining again and um, <laughs> and sharing all these amazing updates. So we will be back. We look forward to our next episode and. Uh, I hope everyone is having a great day. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you so much.